Hey guys, it's Pratusha from Team 9794, Wizards.exe, here to show you how to make a UV sterilization box. The reason why we made this UV sterilization box is because you want to sterilize the face shields so that it's ready for use by the hospital staff or workers, and to just keep these mask shields generally clean by getting rid of any impurities. The materials you will need for this project is a big cardboard box, a UVC germicidal lamp, hot glue gun, duct tape, super glue or gorilla glue, um, UV glasses because when you're working with UV light it is always important to have eye protection, a handheld drill, a one inch spade bit, safety glasses because you will be drilling, an exacto knife, a light socket to AC adapter, and Velcro. Some important things to note here are that I am using a 15.5 inch tall, 21.5 inch long, and 18.5 inch wide cardboard box because I calculated the inner surface area of this cardboard box and divided it by the approximate surface area of each face shield plus one inch. So, and this um, box can sterilize 16 shields at one time. If you need to do more shields at a time, then you can get a bigger box, calculate those numbers. Additionally, the UVC germicidal lamp that I'm using has 36 watts, 253.7 nanometers of wavelength, and covers around 600 square feet. So if you need more square feet covered because you have a bigger box, then find the respective light bulb that's needed for that. Okay, so before we start to make the actual calculations for the accurate exact time that we need to leave the face shields inside of the sterilization box, I'm going to go over the information that I do have. I know that my light bulb is 36 watts. I know the dimensions of my box in inches, so I put it in, I convert it into centimeters, and then I found the surface area of my box, so that gives me my square centimeters. In an article that I found, I read that you would need 0.1 joules per centimeter squared in order to get rid of any bacteria or specifically the coronavirus, which will solve our case of getting rid of any impurities, as I mentioned earlier in the video. Um, so in order to find out how much energy I actually need, I multiply my surface area in centimeters squared times the um, amount of joules per centimeter squared, and I get the total amount of energy I need. Next, um, I have the total amount of energy I need in joules. I have the power my light bulb has, 36 watts in joules per second, which means the joules and joules cancel and gives me seconds, which is the time. So doing these calculations, I, it means that it will take me 0 0.365 seconds in order for the face shields to be completely sterilized. But we have to take into account all the bumps and uneven area of the face shields and the planes just not even since there's 16 face shields in there that need to be taken care of. So I decide that I'd leave the face shields in there for 10 to 15 minutes. You can change the numbers, um, like the surface area, according to how big your box is, and um, just find out the exact accurate time for your scenario. But make sure to take into account the uneven area and all of those variables in your situation. For the first step, our goal is to make this side of the box stronger because this will be the mount for the UVC germicidal lamp and it's kind of like flimsy. So in order to make this stronger, we will be gluing pieces of cardboard together to create the buffer or wall for this mount. So in order to do that, if you have a cardboard box or piece of cardboard lying around, that will be particularly helpful. The first step is to cut five inch by five inch squares of this of the cardboard, um, and you will need two of them. And then you hot glue gun these two pieces together. And then this is one part of your buffer slash wall. So I want you to repeat this step maybe six or seven times so that you can get an approximately one inch thick um, wall of these pieces of cardboard stuck together. I've already done this, so um, it looks like this. It's about one inch thick, 
And um, when you're done with that, glue the wall um, or bundle of cardboard onto the cardboard box at about um, like two inches away from the top of the box. And then um, take duct tape and two pieces of horizontally, two pieces of vertically to ensure that it will stick on this box so that it will be ready for step two. Okay, so for this next step, we will be drilling a hole through this um, all of the cardboard wall that you built and this wall of the cardboard box be, um, because this will essentially give you the hole where you will be putting the cover of the light bulb adapter into and this will basically be the mount for your light bulb. So you need to put your safe it into your drill. Do not forget to wear your safety goggles, that's very important. Um, and then you um, drill a hole into the cardboard and the wall of the cardboard box. It took me about half an hour in order to get the um, in order to get like a good size hole. And then you can use an exacto knife, or if you have a file, that would be better, in order to kind of shave away um, on the um, outer circles of that circle that you drilled, because you want the cover of that light bulb adapter to fit snugly into the circle as I have done here already. Um, so I will see you in the next step once you've accomplished this. Okay, so for this step, you will be needing tin foil and super glue. So what you want to do is you want to measure each of these sides and um, cut the respective length of tin foil that you need. And then using super glue, um, make sure to put like even layers so that when you um, actually put the textbook on in order to ensure that the tin foil will stick, um, it doesn't have weird bumps on it. So then it will, um, the reflection of the light from the UV lamp will work a lot better. Um, so, it, so after you've done that, I've actually completed the whole box. This process took me about like 90 minutes to do. But um, once you stick the tin foil down with super glue, you want to put a textbook on it for like five minutes um, to ensure that the glue and the tin foil will actually um, stick onto the cardboard box really well. Um, do this process. Every single time you want to glue the tin foil onto a um, onto the panels of the cardboard box. But the reason why I only did some um, of this panel was because when I close this, the parts that are already being reflected are up here. And then this is only like this little gap left here, which is what why I only put tin foil there. And to make sure that you've covered all the areas that need tin foil reflection, you can put your camera or your phone with the camera faced up, so then you can check. Okay, um, is everything covered with tin foil in this area? And if it is, then you're good to go for the next step. Okay, so for step four, we will be actually testing the light and see if it works in here. So you need to screw this in. Okay, now that that's in pretty tight. Um, this is the lamp and take the styrofoam off. And then screw, you have to make the hole in here. And then hold the other end so that it doesn't move while you screw this in as well. Okay, so now that that's in pretty tight, um, so don't forget your UV glasses. Don't want to hurt your eyes. They're kind of big for me. But then let's plug it in, and yay, it works. Okay. So for the last step, it's um, putting the Velcro on the box so that when you close it, there is no um, open space. There's no way for the UV rays to get distracted and go somewhere else. It'll straightly get reflected on the tin foil. So in order to do that, um, I have cut about a five inch um, Velcro pieces on both the soft side and the, um, the scratchy side. And so um, I've done this panel, as you can see. I've done four on each side, and um, I will do the last three strips that I have to do. So I've already measured um, so that it doesn't go on the tin foil because it doesn't stick that well if it is on the tin foil. Um, I've done this, and to help it stick a little bit more um, on the rough side, I'm actually putting some super glue, um, just a little bit, to make sure that it actually sticks when I close the box. And 
it doesn't come up with the soft side. I have to use a paper clip because it's kind of this glue is kind of slow coming out. Okay, and if I do have to use it for the soft side, I will. And then you put it at approximately the same place as the other one. Put one side down. And then you want to press it so that the glue can stick on the board. Okay, and now so that I don't have to re-measure it, it's time to put the soft side on here. And then hopefully when I close this, I don't have to put super glue. There we go. So that one stuck pretty well. I just have to put a little bit super glue on the other side. Okay, so let's close the whole thing. So now it's all closed. There's no way the UV um, light bulb will get distracted and emit rays somewhere else. So that opens up like that. That opens like that, and we're done. This is the final product. Thank you to Dr. Mike on YouTube who gave us this idea. And um, please like this video and subscribe to this channel. If you have any questions, email us at wizards.exe at gmail.com. Thank you for watching.